Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you're watching Polymer Update TV, the only TV in the world with a daily petrochemicals news show. Our sponsor for today is Delhi-based Chandan Polymers. Established in 2011, Chandan Polymers is a dealer in HIPS milky reprocessed and HIPS grade reprocessed materials. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil futures edged higher on Tuesday in anticipation of potential supply disruption as Tropical Storm Gordon is likely to make landfall on the coast of Mississippi, possibly as a hurricane by Tuesday night local time. WTI traded at $69.87, a rise of $0.07 cents per barrel, while Brent finished at $78.17, up $0.02 cents per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, Crude futures were sliding early Wednesday in Asia on the heels of at least one major news agency survey showing a big monthly jump in OPEC production in August. Meanwhile, renewed fears of a contagion effect in emerging markets and a stronger US dollar also weighed on crude prices. Combined crude production by OPEC's 15 members averaged 32.74 million barrel per day in August, the biggest so far this year, and up by 420,000 barrels per day from July, Bloomberg reported. Open spec NAFTA prices on Wednesday is up by 11 US dollars per metric ton at the 695 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Import offers of PET in India. Wangkai of China has offered its PET bottle grade 40.80 in India for shipment in September 2018 as under CIF Mumbai and Chennai at 1,410 US dollars per metric ton and CIF Kolkata at 1,440 US dollars per metric ton levels. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today on September 5th, 2018. LLDPE prices remain steady from the previous settlement at 9,340 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are up by 9 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,756 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are higher by 5 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 6,800 RMB per metric ton. In plan news, ExxonMobil has undertaken a planned shutdown at its 900,000 metric ton per year number one cracker located in Jurong Island in Singapore. The cracker was shut on September 3rd, 2018. The planned maintenance is expected to remain in force for around 45 days. Oriental Energy Ningbo has brought on stream its 400,000 metric ton per year PP plant located at Ningbo, China on September 1st, 2018. The plant remained under maintenance for a period of around six weeks. Polymer Update has come up with monthly automobile industry insights for India as a value addition for its customers. The monthly report prepared by our in-house experts provides a 360-degree overview of the local automobile industry, including regulatory issues, technological development, key international issues and latest trends affecting the industry. Visit polymerupdate.com to download the detailed report. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It's Wednesday, September 5th. This is Simran Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.